Alright. Oh, switch. Alright. Oh, shit. I might need to turn. Come on. So, for the people that couldn't get, uh, don't have IG, you're gonna get this one. You don't have to turn it. Oh, shit. You don't have to turn it. Yep. Alright. Let's go. Okay, we're good now. We're in the game, coach. Yeah, we're in sports. Yes, sir. Welcome, y'all, to the first episode of Jack and Jen Knowledge of 2021. You know, y'all been missing us, so uh, here we are. <laughs> uh, welcome to the new year. We ain't seen y'all in a while, so happy new year to some of y'all. Uh, bruh. Uh, book our boy on the scene. Hello. Um, we just want to bless and, and 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 thank God for the fact that we're able to sit next to each other for another year. Absolutely. So a lot of people that don't know them, you know, my boy's birthday was this past week. Had to come down here and celebrate yes, with him. Yes, sir. Because we got to do it every year. Because you never know when's your last one. So don't ever take that shit for goddamn granted that you always gonna fucking wake up in the morning. We pray that you do. Don't get that twisted, you know, because I pray nothing on, nothing bad on anybody because the universe works that way and shit's going to come right back on you. But act like every day is your last and live and breathe that shit like it is. Don't, don't just walk through life like everything is goddamn going to be handed to you, including your next breath, because you, you never know. You never know. So keep yourself alive. If you got family, loved ones, make sure that they know that you think about them on occasion, maybe not every day, because some family you gotta learn, you gotta love from a distance, and yes. and that's completely understandable. You know what I'm saying? You ain't gotta love everybody face to face. Some family you gotta love from a distance, and uh, but love them from that distance. Don't don't just don't just give up on them, even though they might be a straight jackass, a straight jackass, just just like that. I mean, there ain't no point in sugarcoating it because you don't like that motherfucker no way. <laughs> but just let them know that it's, you know God bless that you're alive and continue to keep pushing and dreaming yep yeah we uh we just really want to get on here man to, to let y'all know that we was back uh see what everybody been doing how everybody been what's been up because uh you know we got a lot of shit to talk about but i don't know if we want to throw everything at y'all you know at this point in time and uh in the day since it is sunday at two o'clock afternoon well morning to y'all east coasters I mean, West Coasters, excuse right, me. Right. Yeah, look for y'all East Coasters. Hey, look, I'm there on the same time. This day of crap. All right, that's good that shit. Like, I'm, I'm, I'm over the fact that, you know, four o'clock and be back outside. Like, 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 it shouldn't be that goddamn dark. But we're one of the few countries that are actually still, actually, one of only two, if my math is correct, mm -hmm. or if my, my subject is correct, uh, that actually follow the whole daylight savings time there's a couple of states in the united states that don't so yeah you know do your research don't don't trust shit to come out of my mouth because half the time it depends on who you're talking to i ain't talking about shit anyway uh depends on who you ask so you know depends on who you ask oh you know, yes i ain't talking about shit I ain't never been talking about shit but do your research don't trust shit that comes out of my mouth nothing yes yeah, sir absolutely nothing yeah it's been uh as y'all know, it's been a crazy, crazy, crazy year as so far, you know, it's only shit, it's only March, so, and we've already been through enough. Um, like bruh said, keep your eyes open, do your research. Of course, you know, we gonna, we gonna knock you across the head with a whole bunch of stuff to make you go and dig in your phone or your laptop or however you do your, do your thing. You're gonna be in there trying to figure out what the hell are we talking about? Right. <laughs> and why are we talking about what we're talking about? So just be with us, rock with us. I'm excited. Like, I really want to say shit now, but I'm holding. Yeah, I mean, Cause cause, I got some. Because we, well, I mean, because, you know, we've been talking about some shit all goddamn weekend. <laughs> um, and that's usually how most of the topics get brought up. Me and Bro get on the phone or through text message and 
So, hey, man, did you hear about this? Oh, man, did you see about that? One topic we're definitely going to bring up here very, very soon is if you ain't done it, you need to go do it. Like today, go watch Judas and the Messiah. Yes. Go watch it. Like, yes. absolutely, 100%. Get your eyeballs on this damn movie. Yeah. That actually might be our next week topic, right? Because we're going to give y'all some time. As a matter of fact, let's say Sunday. We ain't trying to give y'all no homework. Right. But, but I mean, same time. if you smart, <laughs> you're going to go watch this movie if you haven't already. Mm -hmm. And if you have, watch it again because you missed something. I promise you, you did. Because right? I'm going to watch it again before we talk. I am too. So, watch the movie. Um, and then come back and we'll... You know, dialogue about it. Talk about yeah, it. Yeah. See how it is. See what y'all thought process is on it. See, you know, how, how y'all function and if y'all like it, if you didn't like it. You know, it's an open session. So, right. And what you did and you didn't like about it. Yep. I mean, because like I said, it's, it's hard not to get into right now because of the severity of the situation at the time this particular movie is based off of. And um, when it really comes down to that whole... Um, that no snitching campaign that really set our community back decades. 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 So it's, it's, it's a big deal. Um, please go watch the movie if you haven't. Yep. And like bro said, if you have if you have watched it, watch, watch that it song again. again because it's good enough. It's good enough to marry twice. Yeah. And then another um, topic that's going to be coming up here recently it just jumped in my head mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm sporadic mm -hmm. don't judge me I got a lot of TBIs it's coming to America the second time yes oh yeah, yeah that's definitely we got to we got to talk about that yes cuz I don't heard yes boy some some ignorant motherfuckers look. talking like We'll, know, we'll get to it, yeah, but yeah, we'll get. Yeah, it. you dirtbags. but <laughs> hey, and, and look if you grew up with the movie yeah, you lightweight already knew what was about to happen when they was coming out. With you should have. Already knew. But for the people that didn't grow up with it, the people that didn't watch it back in the 90s, y'all motherfuckers keep y'all got that mouth closed. <laughs> Hello. We're going to get into that shit on the next topic because yeah. that, that shit had me fired up for yeah. a split second when it really came down to it. Yeah. Um, yeah. I think right now, off rip movie wise, um, those are the those are the two. Yeah, that's, but yeah. you know, worldly topics that you know still the same shit that was going on when me and Bro started this months ago. You know, a lot of that shit is still perpetuating itself because the right moves mm -hmm. are not being made, mm -hmm. and these pacifiers that are being put out to the public, yep. because they're trying to keep us to calm down and keep quiet and and stay at the house and and not still push forward the movement like. Don't nobody give a fuck that you took off the goddamn Angel Mama bottle. No. That's just my personal opinion. My you, personal opinion. You took it off, but yet you still eating from it. Mm -hmm. And but now the families from Angel Mama don't eat they because don't you money. took. So you know, right? Go support Uncle P. Salute Master P. Go support right. Uncle P. Right. <laughs> there you go. Because then you have a line where you are always going to consistently see somebody that we know. That we support, and that he's put somebody else on. So, mm -hmm. go support Pete. God no, damn. Yeah, yeah, we ain't, we are. yeah, we're not, we're not gonna get too deep into it. This is just like almost a, like a, a new meet and greet, uh, introduction, a reintroduction type deal. Um, but there are a lot of things that are floating around because me and Bruce stay on conversation on a regular basis, and we always keep each other. If I don't know about it, he know about it. Yep. If he don't know about it, I know about it. So we putting each other up because that's what you're supposed to do. Yep. Information is supposed to be continued to be passed on. And like I've said many times before, if you feel like you have absolutely nothing else to learn in life, what is your purpose? Yeah. Why are you here? Is your life not over? Yeah. I mean, because you can't, you can't, you can't teach if you don't know. Right. Um, I also want to do uh, give a big up to Soul Essentials underscore LLC. Bruh's been, yep. you know, they, he's, he's, him and his partner's doing the thing. 
Um, a lot of y'all saw him in Nashville, uh, Clarksville, excuse me. Oh, yeah. Uh, past weekend. Yeah, pushing product because, you know, you know, back in the day when you had to sell them CDs or you ran into the dude at the gas station, like, oh, here this dude. Out the uh, truck. You got to push your own product because you can't sit back because faith without work is dead. If you pray for it and you don't move your feet, what was the point of you praying for it in the first doggone place? Absolutely. Um, I want to give. A shout out to Empowerment Inc., uh -huh. which is a nonprofit based out of Nashville. Um, they're doing extremely, extremely strong things in the young people's community based out of Nashville Metro Schools. Um, they it's, it's a beautiful thing. If you don't know about it, look it up. Look it just, it up. The link just got dropped in the comments section. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Go look it up, research. I mean, not, maybe not necessarily asking you to donate any money because you know how uh, y'all African-Americans <laughs> like to get when somebody say reach in your pocket and give something. What we get fine? Right. What you going to give me? What you going to get yeah. is the promise of a possible better future that you didn't have or people put in place to give out knowledge that you wish you could have had mm -hmm. at that 12, 13, 14, 15-year-old age range. Right. So... Let me let me say this, cause uh, it's gonna be a lot of uh, people that's that's gonna want him to say more, but I'm gonna say a lot of this shit here. This conversation is really not for you old heads that don't want to see pr progression. When I say old heads, this is what I mean. If you have per if you have pushed your child to go work at Popeyes, but you ain't taught him nothing about artificial intelligence or financial li financial literacy in your household, then you're old here. And we don't need you listening to this because then you're going to throw negativity in this situation. And we, I, we really don't give a damn how you feel about us. I, let's let that be clear. But this conversation is for you, if you don't want to listen, to pass it on to, the, to your son, your daughter, your niece, your nephew, your cousin, little cousin that wants progression but wants to work. But you show them a different path. That's what they're doing. Yeah. That's what that program is about. Yeah. If you don't believe in it, Pat, keep going to public school. Nigga. <laughs> you know, I mean, and it's, and it's, bottom line. You know, it's years, and the Empowerment Inc. has been up for years. Um, and I'm going to, you know, shout out a lot of the board members that put the, this together. They actually came out with a young man's program mm -hmm. because they had a young girl's program. Now they're coming out with a young man's program, and it is rolling it is on fire hopefully you know not putting anything into you know out there that i don't i don't have any control over i, I do my part speaking into existence i do my thing yeah. and a lot of y'all that knew me growing up you knew how much of a knuckle neck i was but time changes all mm -hmm. and growing up being consistent and well trying my best to be consistent in life anyway because sometimes you know you step on it yeah. but if Everybody you don't hit that exit yeah if you're gonna, <laughs> if you're gonna stumble stumble forward right you know fall right. forward don't Learn go backwards something from it. you know don't stop so with one of those things is i feel like if i didn't have those old heads in my life those basketball coaches football coaches track coaches cedric Timms, if i didn't have them type of people in my life Shit, I would have been a statistic. And yep. we want to stop perpetuating the revolving door of our young community. And it's, I mean, yeah, more so the African, the black community. I'm going to stop saying African American because that's that political. Uh -huh. The black community, the cycle has been perpetuated forever. Like, if you got some real knowledge to give these young kids, they're looking at you like, what you got to tell me? You ain't got nothing to tell me. But if a rapper says it, Golden or the biggest drug dealer in your community says it golden or they hear it from something on ESPN Sports Center Bleacher Report baller whatever it is take it to the moon they take it to the damn bank and cash mm -hmm. that fucking check mm -hmm. so we're trying to um, change that yep to where back when we was growing up where you would listen to the old head that sat outside the gas station Smoked his dog on Newport 100, cool 100. <laughs> right. Had his 40 or his goddamn OE or slow, small liquor. <laughs> right. The blue bull, you know, reading his paper. He had something to say. You listen. You listen. Because he survived past our expiration date, which is set by the people that control the narrative. You want to listen to people like that. Yep. Another topic bringing up on that, I don't know if a lot of you guys may or may not have seen it. 
with the football camp with the young man that uh oh yeah with Cam we're, we're, oh yeah we got to talk about oh, that oh yeah we're gonna dive into yeah. that oh jeez and see all that pans into when we speak on the kids because mm -hmm. this is gonna be a segment where it's gonna I'm we gonna go in on like I said those parents that just want to continue to to beat a dead horse we that and that segment that part is gonna be able to. It's gonna be we y'all gonna be able to see it full throttle because that young man is not getting that information, and that's why he feels like he has that. Anyway, we'll, we'll get into that. Yeah, yeah, we're just, <laughs> we're gonna, uh, third base. It's, it's, it's some stuff that we got we got laid out, written down, blueprint. You know, step forward, left, and front of right, and it's it's stuff that's going on in the world that y'all might not be abreast of. Given the knowledge, we looking for the knowledge. We finding the knowledge giving the knowledge out mm -hmm. so you can pass it on mm -hmm. because that's the true power of knowledge is passing it on, not keeping to yourself. Yep. You know, so there's a lot of things that y'all may be able to hit us up with and we'll go do our research, you know, throw our little two cents in the car right so y'all can see what we think about what you think Yep. Or about what's going on that you checked out. Yep. And it's, it's just as easy as that. If you follow it, you know where to drop the information at through the DM, either DM through the Jack and Jen page itself, or through mine, Buckeye, Buckeye Boy 5207, or Mr. Tim's Enough Goddamn Say It. The goddamn part ain't in there, I just like saying it. Mr. It Tim's should be, <laughs> but I ain't gonna put it in there, because then, you know, you know, you know how people, you know Instagram get, yeah, people uh, put you on hold. People get sensitive, because <laughs> you know, somebody said a cuss word, because yeah. you got sensitive. Hey man, but I'm gonna say this, because I'm, I'm still mad about this, we talked about this all weekend. First, look, you cancel culture mother... Mm, you guys, you guys. I'm talking directly to you guys. You cancel culture people. Come for us. Don't come for him. See, this is like a this is like a UGK situation. For y'all that, that ain't been with us in the first... This is Bun, and I'm Pim. And I love to talk. Don't come for my brother, because he will slap you. He will. But I'm come to come for me. You cancel culture jackasses that and wiped out my dog Pepe Le Pew. Okay, I want to say something to y'all. I get it. He was aggressive. I understand. <laughs> but he was going after the same thing us men go after every goddamn day. Okay. Okay. Now, if you go after bugs, I promise you, it's gonna be me and you. And I, you won't just don't fuck with the Looney Tunes. Okay. Y'all can fuck with Space Jam too. I ain't, we ain't, it ain't came out yet, but you can go and take that off the rack. But don't you, Lady in the Tramp, really, <laughs> really, the Fox and Hat, really? Yeah. I mean, look. Yeah. Pepper was cute. Buddy was a sexual rapist. Uh, Let's go ahead and get uh, out the way. Okay, look. Y'all let our Kelly pass for twenty years. Elvis is still rolling around here in Vegas. Uh -huh. But she Ben Roethlisberger still play for the Steelers and make forty million. I'm just y'all told y'all y'all gonna come for me. I don't care. Come for me. I got my life set. <laughs> but y'all you gonna stop playing and act like y'all y'all just y'all not gonna fight. Y'all not gonna do on both sides of the fence. No. You're not gonna you're not gonna rock for one, but don't rock for the other. Right. Dirt bags. And the thing about that is, is we've done it as parents in our age. Our parents did it. Like we knew those were cartoons. 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 Y'all ain't taking Phineas and Ferb off the goddamn screen. And look, SpongeBob been inappropriate. What? Y'all just gave him a whole movie. <laughs> So let's cut this out. Like, stop picking and choosing what's, you know what I'm saying, what it is and what it ain't. Yep. Like, that that, that has to stop. If yep. it is, then it all the way is. And and look, that goes on to the line, you can't shoot that paper in the pew and still have the phrase consensual sex out there. Ooh. That's a good one. Hold on. Ooh. Right. Say people, yeah, yeah. They, 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 they didn't hit it. They didn't hit it. You can't come at Pepe Le Pew. Cause he, like he said, he a little aggressive, you know. He, you know, but I mean, what is it that y'all women don't go through in the club every time y'all go anyway? Right. But you can't have the phrase consensual. Cause there's no such thing as consensual sex. Either you are two grown people having sex, or somebody is getting raped 
There's nothing in the middle. Period. Yep. It is. It is or it ain't. Cut it out. Stop trying to make it seem like. Okay, we're gonna put this phrase on it to make it not sound as yeah, bad. As bad. Yeah. No, it's still yeah. bad. It's still bad. It is. It bad. is or it ain't. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and and I'm not gonna get into the the whole problem in the military thing because I can I can talk forever. Yeah, that's we're a whole not gonna thing. get into yeah, that. Yeah, that's we're a, not gonna get into that because that yeah. that right there is just foul. Anybody anybody down in Fort Hood, Texas, take care of your motherfucking self. Period. I've been there. Ladies, ride with your pistols. Get your carry work concealed your license and have that motherfucker on you because that place down there is not it's nothing to play race. with. Not nothing to play with at all. So, but yeah. Pepe Le Pew, leave my boy alone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ain't it look? Because if you fought him, you got to fault that goofy ass cat for always walking under the paint, wet paint sign. <laughs> uh, action deserves a reaction. That's all I'm sorry. You look like a skunk. I like you. I want you. So I'm going to prove it. the easy way. <laughs> Oh, we can do this the hard way. Choice Shout out to Boondocks. Choice is yours. The choice is yours. Yeah. You ain't seen the Booty Warrior. You you dead wrong. Yeah. If you ain't seen Boondocks, you dead ass wrong. Go watch the Booty the Booty Warrior. That shit is funny as yes. fuck. All day long. I don't give a shit how old it is or how. You know the thing about the Boondocks, and we can get into that cartoon as well, mm-hmm. is that they did shit so right that regardless of what they talked about, they weren't wrong. They weren't wrong. And it had a message in there every single time. Period. Half of y'all didn't pay attention anyway, because he threw the Arkella shit in your face. Season one. And y'all pay. Y'all rocking. As soon as Riley cut the music on, everybody jumped. Mm-hmm. We told the story. We don't listen half the time. The story be there, but we like like it's for. TV is entertainment. That's it. That's everybody. That's what everybody view is. So Pepe Le Pew was entertainment. So don't be doing my boy like that. Put them back on the screen. Look how y'all do Dr. Seuss. Y'all pick choose Dr. Seuss. But he still got books. His whole family did that though. I feel that. But the book, you you left some of the books. Yeah. You only half and half. You should have took them up. Hey, snatch his ass off. Yeah, it wasn't, wasn't even that many. But your point is. No, the not books, the not the movies. I don't know. We weren't even talking about the movies. But, Jackasses. you know. Still, Pepe. Free Pepe. We getting shirt made that say Free Pepe. For real. Free Pepe Le Pew. I got free Bill Cosby shirts too. Y'all want some? <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, hey, shit. I hope y'all want to talk about it. I mean, because. I don't want to talk about it. Because I look at it like this. If Bill Cosby ass was doing it. Imagine. So was the Rolling Stones. So was Aerosmith. Come on. Come on, don't 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 act like there ain't no it. way in hell. So so think of this, bro. Think of this. Elvis comes out on horn. He marries his fourteen year old cousin. Did nobody say shit? Don't nobody say shit. All we think about is Elvis up and down Vegas. Chuck Berry is the greatest rock and roll singer of all time, and what's the only thing they bring up? Pedophile. Messing with fourteen eight teenagers. Will I be down? How about that? Why is that? Because they control the narrative. Mm. Dirty bags. Mm. Free Pepe Le Pew. See what I'm saying? Mm. See? Free Pepe. See? Because he he black. (laughs) (laughs) That's a joke. It's a joke. (laughs) Y'all culture culture sensitive motherfuckers calm down. (laughs) For for real. Y'all culture sensitive. Y'all for real. Because if we want to talk about culture, let's talk about these culture vultures. Mm Mm-hmm. That keep taking our shit. The real ones and not the fake ones that they t- they trying to portray on y'all. Goofballs that y'all listen to. I don't know if y'all seen this video on IG or on Facebook, but they got this whole little kid choir. These four little white kids talking about Whip and Nene. They singing that shit in full harmony. <laughs> what? I mean, they in the little bleachers and shit you used to see in everything. And they getting it in. Little piano she, she over there. <laughs> like she's like like she Beethoven or Stevie or something. Just getting it in. <laughs> stealing. Stop stealing. They can't help it though. That's all they, they know. Stole, you know. That's all they, they stole know. rock and roll. Stole the blues. Gave y'all heavy metal, cause you know, that ain't 
you know, we ain't got time to be mosh pitted. Every song, right? So a couple songs, you know, three a, six. Man, shout out three a, six. I need a breather. I, yeah, we gotta go get a drink. You know, you know y'all mosh pitting every five seconds. We ain't got time for that. But still, yeah, there, there's there's plenty out there that that we can rock and roll with and, and talk about and really, really, really get stupid into it. But you know, not not it's not just about our thought process. It's about y'all thought process as well. Yeah. So if you like, I said, if you got something on your mind. Or you got something that you feel like needs to be addressed, bring that shit to the table. Yep. Don't don't sit back and be like, oh man, this sounds like it's kind of no. Nah. Bring that shit to the table. Ain't yeah. shit whack. Ain't shit whack. Ain't nothing that can't be talked about. It might be laughed upon, okay. but it will be it will be a lesson led into yeah. that joke. Yeah, there's, there's, there's gonna be something <laughs> to learn about in there. You gonna you gonna hear something <laughs> while you're chuckling at the same time. Right. So they definitely bring it to the table because. We're going to talk about it. We don't give a shit. There ain't nothing we can't talk about. Because don't shit, don't, don't shit bother us. Mm-hmm. Ain't no script, as you can see. No. It ain't no script. No. This is all, this ain't reality TV. Mm-hmm. We ain't, uh, we wrote down some subjects because, you know, that's what we do. We always writing, but we ain't, ain't no script. We ain't, got, we ain't got time for that. No. We ain't got time to be sitting down for hours and trying to figure out what we're going to talk when all when this is what we do anyway, mm-hmm. and y'all been enjoying it for for ye- everybody that's close to us that's been enjoying this for years and been telling us to do this, so why not give it to y'all raw and yeah. raw as y'all like? Yeah. Like anybody that known us for shit since high school, really. Maybe some of y'all known us before that. We ain't gonna get too far deep into yeah, how yeah, back it really yeah. goes. Yeah, some of y'all sh- um, don't y'all comment either. No, nah, don't, don't say shit. <laughs> don't don't say shit about who older than who. Right. I don't want to hear none of that shit because, you know, that's the only thing that offends me. <laughs> Fuck about how old I am, goddammit. I know how old I business. am. <laughs> stop telling me, hell. I was there when I was born, hell. Stop telling me how old Straight I am. Straight up. Shit. That shit ain't funny no more. <laughs> goddammit. Yeah. Look younger than some of you motherfuckers. Yep. I'm going to leave that alone. Yeah, yeah. But either way it goes, yeah, come at us with what you want to hear about. Because sometimes shit, like I, I know people that do this all the time, they have the idea. It just sounds better when it comes to somebody else. Yep. Because your plate looked better than mine. I want, We ordered the same shit, but they did something different to your than, to your steak than they did mine. So and I want to know what hey, the fuck going on. And Slick, on top of this, I just, I just saw this today. I knew about it last year, but I just got a reminder. I didn't set the reminder. Let's get that out the way. Uh, I was just going through my IG timeline. <laughs> hey, all y'all men out there that got a significant other? Man, March 14th is, mm. is Steak and Blowjob Day. Mm. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Blow, you just got married. That, that sounds yeah, like yeah, a good idea. Uh, uh, hey, w- women, don't look at me like that. I don't, no, nah, don't, yeah. don't look at me like that. Yep. Don't look at me like that. I, I, I don't feel like being looked Y'all like get any and every holiday. So just, can we just get a day? Just, we only get our birthday. Half the time. It's normally a happy birthday. And keep it moving. So can we get the, you know, can the fellas get they steak and steak and blowjob there? Hey, you don't believe me? Look that shit up. I ain't making there, this up. Know. Look that shit up, hell. You're looking at me like this nigga making this shit up. No, I'm not. Somebody made it up, but it wasn't me. <laughs> we just following the trend, hey, as they man, say. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's another commercial holiday just like Valentine's Day. All right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you ain't giving me no flowers and chocolate. <laughs> Man-made. Oh, here they are. Right. Shit, so rock with it, man. And this one don't even cost that much. No. Nope. Go right to Publix. Oh, what if we already checked the block? Well, I'll be down. Oh, well, yeah. salute then. <laughs> <laughs> hat off to you. All right. Mm-hmm. Take that hat off to you. Mm-hmm. Sure and it's early, so you right. got to do the late night, too. Right, look. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yay! You've already, you know, you already served served a great, done a great service this morning. So now it's time for the nightcap. You know, it is what it is. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. I mean, shit don't stop. Yep, I keep rocking and rolling. Clock don't stop. Time don't stop. That <laughs> don't stop. Lisa says she dislike her ass. Hey, that's fine. <laughs> well, T. Oh well. Shit well, well look. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> If you do it on a regular, I just saw that comment, my apologies, mm-hmm. when there's no need to celebrate the holiday, 
Okay, so I have the whole. Wait, okay. wait, 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 hold on. I look at it like this. If you get your kids stuff all goddamn year, don't you still get them some shit for Christmas? I done got your ass something all year, but you still want something for Valentine's Day. You know, your birthday. Don't you still want something for that? And I'm not I'm not down on the fact that you're doing it on the regular. Kudos. That's a kudos. Thumbs yeah. up to that. But Just don't try to deflect it. Yeah. That, that shit don't I mean We play racquetball of here. Right. We come <laughs> right back. <laughs> we play racquetball. Right yeah. back. So hey, I give a head, head look, hats off to that. Got it. Mm-hmm. But you still want something for your birthday. <clears throat> That's all I'm saying. Yep. Everybody wants some head. And I'm gonna look I mean, uh steak. Everybody wants steak. Steak is good. Just depending on how you like it cook. Medium rare. Just saying. See? Same thing. I like that though. I can dig it. Mm hmm Adding bowls to it makes it a gift. Does it? <laughs> so if I put a bowl on a light switch. Talk about it. I gave you lights. Ain't that a gift? I put bowls on this motherfucking water hose out here. I bless you with water. Ain't that a gift? Then I put, I'm going to tie a ribbon around the hot water. They ain't had that back in the day. Ain't Welcome. that a gift? Ain't that a gift? That's a gift. I mean, look. Tell me. We got, a, we, we got something for everything. Mm-hmm. You ain't never going to be able to stump us because there's two of us up there. <laughs> You're right. You may be able to get one, but the other one coming right back. I know y'all seen that trend on TikTok where it says, you know, being rude to my quiet husband or significant other and this, that, and other, and this T-Pace on it. Talk to me. I ain't talking back. <laughs> Look. <laughs> I'm just saying. All right. It, it can be happening. So it should be, we should, we're should going to change the name from blowjob to blow gift. How about that? All right. Cool. We're going to call right, it a blow, blow gift. gift. Because people don't like doing jobs half the time. Yep. But people like giving they gifts. They love they love or gifts. getting gifts. Yep. So we're going to change it. It's a blow gift. Ain't and, it? It, and see, this gift can cost you <laughs> under a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Ain't that something? You know what I'm saying? Damn. And, and ain't got to put in no work. And on the top real. of that fact, <laughs> that, not that much work. It's a little bit. <laughs> Just flip the steak. See, I'm still talking about the steak. Just, you know, Just a little flip. You go to Gordon's, you can get, you know, sirloins and ribeyes for like $5. See what I'm saying? Just saying. Mm hmm. It don't cost that much. And for y'all, don't don't go. Just go to Publix for y'all. Kroger's, Walmart. I wouldn't recommend it, but some of y'all that that restaurant, just, that market just went over your head. You, you won't even know where that's at. So just go to go to. The, yeah. But you get it for under a dollar. Flip. Nice like seasoning that's it. already in your cabinet. Yeah, you know. Yep. It ain't gotta be. You know, don't, nah, 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 well, no, 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 no. Let me not tell you a lie. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to tell it a whole be ass A1 line. to the crisp. You know what I'm saying? Get you gotta that, be perfect. Get that sear on both sides. Yes. You know? Don't you don't don't hey, don't over slop. Look. As soon as it gets, you know, yeah, now, just, yeah, now, it's, now you got a yeah. whole mess. Yeah, and you gotta and it's tough. You, you know, gotta push back because it's a little bite and little bite marks on yeah, it already. You try it with a knife shit. No. <clears throat> that, that's not a good look, just for future reference. Yeah, yeah. Just um, for got a little heads up, yeah. I wouldn't recommend that. And know. I'm not saying just you know go give a blow gift and steak to just anybody random. They gotta mean something to you. you yeah, know? hell yeah. yeah. I'm not saying just go be handing them out. Steaks is expensive. Yeah, you know the good what I'm ones, right? You know, <laughs> shit. And if it's yeah, you pay for the good shit, you pay for the good shit. You definitely you have, get you have to pay blood. for good shit. Cause I know yeah. some of y'all right now having a drink of E and J, and all y'all sick. I do not want E and J. It's a reference with my steak. See what I'm saying? <laughs> I do not want E and J with my steak. Yeah, we used to go, we used past them days. Mm -hmm. I'm looking at it like this, <laughs> and I'm gonna say this shit. I usually don't say shit raw like this, but I'm gonna say it like this. That's his job. <laughs> um, if you over thirty, uh oh, that, that's my cue to go fix me another drink. <laughs> If you're over 30 and you ain't, I don't know what's wrong with your life. I have no idea. My mom and my grandma told me that's nasty. I shouldn't do stuff like. Bet your savings account your mom and your grandmama did it. Huh? 
I'm not making this up. This shit looks, because I look at it like this. You ain't going to have me walking around looking like no glazed donut. Then <laughs> this shit's not reciprocated. That's not the way it happens. Need <laughs> Just putting it out there. Just putting it out there. Hey, Chef, I, you ain't even look. I'm not trying to walk around looking. Your cakes are gorgeous, by the way. When I'm not trying to walk around looking like one all day. I'm not. Then that's all there is to that. Let it, let it. Been there, done that. We ain't in high school no goddamn mode. You better right. shit. You better get it in. <laughs> that's all I'm saying. Ain't nothing wrong with it. Like I said, I'm not talking about just giving them to everybody. But goddamn it. If you sleeping with that motherfucker every goddamn night, y'all sharing responsibilities of life. You should. Be. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Just saying. Split the state. Because we've all heard this. <laughs> thumbs up if you have. Thumbs down if you haven't. What one won't do, another one will. Did y'all hear me in the back? No. Let say that one more time. Okay. I don't think they heard you. One what one won't do, another one will. And y'all gonna hit me with this because I've heard it. Well, if that person not not mocking women, don't mm -hmm. don't get that twisted. If that person should loves me or cares for me the way they do, they should be thankful for what they get and wait for it. Y'all wake me up when y'all ready to talk for real. I should do what? I should wait. Wait. I'm not saying I'm not grateful. Mm hmm. But I should wait. What? Okay. Y'all don't wait. Wait on it when you want your back rub next time then. <laughs> hey. Wait on that. Well, I'll just go get a massage, all right? Well, I'll okay. just go get a blow gift. Hey, what's, up? what's the difference? What the fuck is the difference? Somebody touching you while somebody can't touch me, goddammit. I don't saying. need my back rub. I'm just saying. No, I don't. <laughs> So Make me forget about the fact that my back hurts by taking care of the front, goddammit. How about that? <laughs> Shit. Shit, fine. Save matches around here. <laughs> Hell. For real. Play these damn games with y'all. Shit. You Told y'all. You're too old for this shit. Mm -hmm. Fuck around. Open that book. And don't don't blame it on this. This is my third one today. This, this has it's nothing to do different. with it. Yeah. yeah. We, we, it ain't slow down. So. No. Yeah. No. Can you imagine when it's not? I honestly feel like if I stop drinking all at once, quote Archer, <clears throat> if you ain't never watched that TV show, the cumulative headache from the hangover will probably kill me. Yep. Yep. Just saying. Yep. You know. So yep. When did you start? Hell, you got to stop to start. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like a sex addict. I'm gonna go to hey me boy. Ah, uh, just so I can see who, who, who I can pick from. Right. <laughs> Gotta find a drinking buddy, goddamn it. Right. Fuck wrong with y'all. Hey, <laughs> Don't know why I like to drink by themselves. That's why I take shots when I'm looking in the mirror. Hell. <laughs> hey, cheers, nigga. <laughs> what? But have a good day today, huh? <laughs> <laughs> what? What's up? Fuck yeah. Hey, a shot yeah. a day keep the doctor away. There you Fuck go. that apple shit. Yeah. yeah no. Let's get you one. Yeah. Hey, truth be told, for real, he'll tell you, he's a workout guy. After you work out, you don't need no pre or no post workout. Just get you some chocolate and get a shot. And life goes on. Open the, muscle, open the muscles back up. See? Increase the blood flow. Heals the muscles faster. See? That's science, people. Uh, to, and, and FYI, we got some, we got some, we got some stuff coming down. Uh, no, mm -mm. I'm not gonna say. That. I ain't saying nothing. That. That's all I said. I, I, just no. Well, yeah, shot and chocolate. Now, for you lazy jackasses, is gonna spend five minutes doing a pose in the mirror while you at the gym. But, but you spent more time taking pictures in the mirror than you did work out. We not talking to you. That ain't that ain't for you. We talking about for people that's really walking around sore. They arms hurt, legs hurt, back hurt. You know th those those people. Th you just walked up a flight of stairs. That don't mean you deserve a candy bar and a shot. But it doesn't mean you don't deserve a candy bar and a shot either. I look at it like that. Explain that to me. I'm explaining this to you because this is a personal preference of mine. Um, and nothing against it. We talked about this just yesterday. Mm -hmm. Nothing against it whatsoever. It's okay to be thin in the skin. 
that don't mean everybody like it. True. That don't mean, go get you a snack. Like you, which, you ain't had nothing about two hours. Go get you a snack. Mm-hmm. Cause as soon as you put your feet and your heels together, and the sun shines through, can't deal with it. I'm 245 pounds. Fuck. Okay, I'm just gonna I'm gonna leave it at that. Uh, yeah, that's all I'm playing. Yeah, y'all skinny women go sit down some damn where. This is not your day and age no more. Mm. Because if you look and do your research, in the days of the Renaissance. Uh-oh. Old England, Italy, Europe, you know, even goes back further than that. If you were healthy, and when I say healthy, I mean healthy. Healthy. It means you had some kind of finances about your life. Mm-hmm. That means you actually had mm-hmm. money to eat. To be able to eat. The good shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yep. Yeah, absolutely. So your weight was your financial status. Yep. Oh, she a big girl. Oh, yeah, she good. She can eat. That means I can eat. I mean, yeah. Oh, yeah. That means we both like to eat. Mm -hmm. That means we both like to cook. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Yeah. And if you're as small as this mop pole, look, it's over there. Mm -hmm. But you know what I mean. It's just, uh, you know, it's uh, mm. Right. No, that's not a good look. I'm going to find you. (laughs) I'm going to lose you. And I'm going to lock you in my grandma's basement. (laughs) Hurry up. You gonna get five meals a day. And that's it. <laughs> the only time, look, the only thing you're gonna be able to do is eat, because Mildred gonna got dog on cook. Look, shout out to folks who grandma named Mildred. That's all I'm saying. Everybody grandma that's named Mildred, or somebody in their, well, never mind. I was gonna say somebody in their family named Mildred can cook, but I, that is a lie. If your grandmother's name is Mildred, she cook. Great mother, great grandmother, cousin that's under 40, maybe not. <laughs> maybe not. Saying. Auntie, something like that, maybe not. Yeah. Shout out to Miss Mildred. Grandma Mildred. Love my grandma. Hey, if you got your grand folks in your life, man, be blessed. They got more knowledge than you could ever imagine. Sit down and shut up and listen to them talk. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. Y'all paid if y'all paid attention to see why y'all been on here, y'all learned a couple of things today. And we wasn't even trying to teach you nothing. We just talking shit. Yeah. Yeah. But in the midst of this, the shit talking, you know, it's not an in between line. It's, it's bold and bold black print. It's yeah. said what we said. It's facts. Yep. You don't believe it? Go look it up. Yep. Yep. That and that's the point. And if it ain't facts, you make sure you come and tell us, and we will gladly go look at it ourselves first before we even believe anything you niggas say. <laughs> I love y'all, but some of y'all. Yep. I ain't got nothing to do with that. Ooh, I pray for y'all. I ain't got nothing to do with that. I ain't got nothing to do with that. But but besides the fact that, like bro said, this was not even the intention of the fact, but you still got the fact. Yep. Mind you, some personal opinion mixed in there, but you know that, still that's still fact. Giving you the benefit of the doubt to be mentally aware enough to be able to tell the difference. Yep. You know, should be. Cause y'all grown. Mm-hmm. We're going to treat you like you're grown until you stop acting like you're grown. For real. Hey, take this with you before we get up off of here. <laughs> before we get up off of here, take this with you. Mm-hmm. Anybody that you come across to in life, interact with, whether it's for five seconds, five hours, or five years, make sure that person knows that I am going to treat you, teach you, excuse me, I'm going to teach you how to treat me. Yes, sir. Now, if I give you the answers to the test and you fail, you got to go. Yep. But if I give you the answers and an open book test and you pass, hey, kudos. Kudos. I'm going to teach you how to treat me, though. Mm Mm-hmm. Promise you that. Take that with you. And that goes back to what he he said at the beginning. Go watch Judas and the Black Messiah. Yep. Because all that, that, that ending just tied into where we started. And how it's gonna tie in the next to the, uh, the next episode? Watch it. It's a it's a hell of a movie, and and watch it for real. Not like watch it like this. Yeah. Don't be in a, don't be a, a don't don't be a regular consumer. Be a critic. Yeah. Actually, when you watch it this next time, be a yeah. critic. Yeah. But don't be a critic to the acting. Be a critic to the move act to the actual concept 
Cause it's a true. It's not a move. It's not a plot. They didn't write this up. This is true facts. So take heed to what's going on. Yeah. Pay attention. Yeah. It's about the content. This particular movie is about the content. Be yes. critical of the content. Content. Yes. Because that's what you. That's what you need to hold on to. Like you said, not the acting. Because you know, I mean, you, you gonna give it an A just because because it's because it's, uh, it's two brothers. Yeah. Well, I mean, you gonna give it an A. Yeah, there's some incredible acting in the movie, mm -hmm. but stay focused on the incredible content. Yes. First, okay? So, that being said, go watch the movie if you haven't. And if, well, I say, if you already have watched it, hell, yeah, watch it again. Because you always miss something. The second mm -hmm. time, third time, fourth time around, you always catch something you didn't see the first time. Because mm -hmm. you made, you know, you blinked, you sneezed, you farted, had to yell out the kids for two seconds. Mm -hmm. Damn dog wouldn't shut the fuck up. You missed something. <laughs> right. You was in the kitchen right. cooking, trying to get ready to watch it. You know, something something happened. You yep. know. You know, you dropped your blunt, had to bend down, pick it up. Yeah. And, you so, know, you missed something. Mm -hmm. So go back and watch it intently and exclusively. I'm trying to try your best to cut the background noise. Because you know, you don't want I mean, you can watch movies with other people, but you got some people that'll talk through a funeral. So you yeah. can't necessarily watch movies with everybody. Man. Girl, did you see that? Hey, man, hold on. Run that shut back. the hell up, please. What, my, my worst question is after they get done with all that, <laughs> what just happened? What just happened? Like if you would have, if you would have cut it out, you already missed just, ten seconds. Now you done attention. missed a whole another fifteen minutes because you wouldn't stop talking about the ten seconds. You know what? You y'all do people that do that just to wrap that. People that do, you do know they're going to answer your question eventually, right? Yeah. And we're sitting down watching the movie for the first time with you. Why How the you, hell are we supposed to know? Like, why are you asking me about it? Why are you asking me about what's going to happen next? I'm, I'm. This is my first time seeing this shit, too. Damn weirdos. Right. Calm that shit down. I don't understand it. Humans are weird. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. so, you know, I'm, I'm about five seconds from stopping the plan and just getting off this ride. Because <laughs> humans are weird. I need to calm the hell down. Swear at times I'm an alien. I don't, I don't know what the hell y'all got on your mind, but, you know, I need to calm the hell down. Watch the movie, folks. Yep. And we're not, we're not promoting. Getting paid for shit. But it's a hell of a movie to watch. Mm -hmm. If you don't know, because a lot of people hear about the Black Panthers and this, that, and the other, I ain't going to get into the movie. But there, there's some shit you didn't know. A lot. Because there's some shit that they tried to hide. That's all I'm saying. There's some shit they tried to hide. The truth has never been told to us. And they never wanted us to read and write for a reason. It's showing y'all right now. Yep. They never wanted y'all to know that Hitler was a goddamn. But Hitler, well, damn. Hoover was our version of Hitler. They didn't want to tell y'all that. No, Hoover was a motherfucker. <clears throat> but, you know. Just, we ain't going to get too deep in that. We ain't going to want to. Keep be able to keep doing this. We don't want our accounts to get damn get. I don't give a that. You hear me? I don't come for me. This one. Don't go. No, no. Look right here. Look at my eyes. Come for me. I'm ready for it. Try me. He is the captain now. I'm the <laughs> captain. Phillips, bitch. What's up? <laughs> you want to see a dead body? <laughs> Uh, fuck. <laughs> but, <laughs> but yeah, uh, that's that's gonna be our next topic. You know, just in case, we're like I wonder what these goofballs are gonna be talking about next time. That's gonna be it. Um, we're gonna get we're gonna get into that with all y'all commentary. You know, we we have multiple devices going on right now. So mm -hmm. seeing you here, if you can't see your comments down there, we see your comments on the phones. We will we'll figure it out one way or the other. Y'all leave that up to us. Yeah. It's just when you get that notification, if you don't have a notification, turn your notification on for that. Mm -hmm. Um when it pops up, you know, go and jump on in. Cause yeah. we don't we don't waste a whole bunch of time. This ain't this ain't C P type shit. You know, this this time was just you know, we spent a little five, yeah, ten minutes shit. jumping. Yeah. Next, next time when we talk about this thing, we're gonna go straight into it. Yep. Um, straight into it because it's it's a hell of a topic, and it's gonna be a lot to be pushed into. Um, the amount of time we're gonna try to break and shrink these down into. Right. So, hey, Instagram, just you might as well just gonna clear us now and give us the same rights that you gave the verses. Give us two hours. I mean, fuck it. You'll, well, you'll thank us in six months, motherfucker. I'm telling you, well, don't do it now. Mm -hmm. And and you'll thank us in six months. Whether we use it or not, whether we use the full two or not, 
Give it to us. You know, most people fill their damn gas tank off all the way. Don't ever use all the gas. Hello. Just saying. It Hello. Don't, it don't roll over. Don't 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 y'all shake my head. Y'all shake your head. I only put twenty dollars in that bitch every time I go. Half tank asses. Look, <laughs> fill your goddamn car up. Man. <laughs> fill your goddamn car. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> you never know, man. Shit happens. Traffic is bad out this motherfucker. Fill your goddamn car. Mm-hmm. That's all I'm saying. Y'all was stuck in the ice storm for a week. Look. How about y'all didn't have no gas? That shit hit Clarksville. Like, <laughs> Clarksville. Yeah, okay. I ain't know what the fuck was going Thought on. Thought 92 was going to happen again, huh? Yeah, I ain't know what the right. <laughs> didn't know what the fuck was going on. Like, what is that coming out of the sky? Snow, bitch. Yeah. Uh, go sweep off your goddamn driveway and start your car every goddamn day. So when you go out there on day five, ain't moved in a week because you didn't have to go to work and your shit won't start. It's because your battery dead. Because you didn't start your goddamn car every day. Ten minutes. Uh-uh. It's too cold. To go. You know how it is. It's too cold to be for black people to go to work. Bruh, stop it, bro. No, no, uh, uh-uh. no, stop it. Work at seven. My car starts at six thirty. Why? Because at six thirty, I'm leaving. I hop in, turn the motherfucker on, and meow. That's, oh. that's what they do. Warm your car. Warm your uh, warm your car up. It's summertime. Mm-hmm. Five. Warm your car. Five minutes. That's all it takes. And for y'all fancy folks that got money with the automatic start, you ain't got no goddamn excuse. Uh-huh. You didn't even have to leave your house to start your shit. Go right in your bathroom. It make no damn sense. Take care of your vehicles, people. It's just not a game. Take care of yourself. I'm not gonna. I'm not going too far into it because y'all gonna think I'm. I'm mean. But just take care of yourself. Practice self care. Yeah. Work on yourself. It'll keep you from cussing people out at work. That is a lie. <laughs> That is a lie. I ain't been to, I ain't been to work in, in three months. I've been practicing a lot of stuff. I've been happy as hell working from home. I go to work. The first day I go back to work, my whole mental is fucked up. Shot. It helps. It does help. It helps. Cope for the made out. Anything over eight? Woo! At eight, at eight on one. You are just as responsible for the things that I do as I am. So if I just start getting stupid and cussing people out at work, you are just as responsible (laughs) as a supervisor and manager for not getting my fat ass off the clock in time. That's your goddamn fault. That's your fault. Yep. Yeah. Yep. But either way, hey, back on live. It's good to be back. This uh, we wanted to do it here because I knew I we knew we was gonna be together. Yeah, knew I was gonna be down here in Alabama, supporting my buddy, getting down for his goddamn birthday. One time, man, live and in color. And it, we ain't good too. Hey, everybody that knows. Yeah, for everybody oh, that now hold on, hold on, because I'm I'm now about to take this shot because you said you was done with it. <laughs> but any and everybody, and this is the last thing I'm gonna say. I'm gonna say this. Take my last shot. Praise Jesus and walk out. Um. For any and everybody, he has been inviting down to function. After oh, function, yeah. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't, after function. Mm-hmm. After function. And y'all ask this thing. Regardless, of, I mean, coming from Clarksville, it's only two and some change. Right. If you live in Nashville, it's an hour and some change. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's too far of a drive. Y'all bitch traveled to Atlanta this past weekend and got COVID. I digress. Sorry. It is not that far of a drive. It's boring as shit. Don't get that twisted. And you're going to see Michael Myers' house. <laughs> you're going to see like Jason that. Voorhees' Don't house. Like you're going to see the house that Chucky grew up in. Like you, You're going to see Jeffrey Dahmer' house. You're going to see all these places where these serial killers grew up in. But at the end of the road. <laughs> right. But once you pass all that and come on the other side clean, it's worth the trip. It's worth the trip. Oh, it's, 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 I ain't going to say typically. It's BYOB. Oh, you, yeah. And, and look. Especially nowadays. Bring it with you. Because you do not want to stop at the windmill. Because everything is damn near twice the price. Sky high. So I'm, give, I'm giving you that right now. So if you come down here and be like, oh, shit. Court, what in this liquor store? He's going to point you straight Up to the street. windmill because he answered. <laughs> it's up the street, man. Don't listen to his contra ass. Alright, it ain't up the street. No, it's not up the street. Seven minutes. But it is the it's up the street. It is the closest one. Seven minutes if you was driving a straight line, nigga, your shit That's is. That's why I said it's seven minutes, because you gotta go through a song and a half, <laughs> and then you hit the light, and you turn right, and there go windmill. Either way, 
He's going to send you to the nearest one because that's what you asked for. Yep. And ain't nobody taking you right somewhere. Mm-hmm. So bring it with you. The food, the food is there. Already done. Unless you, unless you're one of those people that have a, uh, Protein deficiency or something. Don't eat meat. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, we are still in the south. If you're a woman, you eat meat all the time. So stop saying that you don't eat meat. Love y'all. No job. Good to be back. See y'all later.